Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live as we head into the evening, closing out a work week that seemed like a long one out there and over a foot of snow later, my back is sore and I've been blowing snow. In fact, the tire fell off my snowblower. That's how many miles I put on it. OK, another first alert weather day. That's Sunday into Monday for a storm system that's going to lollygag as it makes its way through, and that means enhanced snowfall potential. I want to make this full screen so we can give you the latest. And again, it is early. The models don't all agree on the track of the storm. They do agree on the timing. It begins Sunday morning in our western counties, and it will work its way through and last most of Monday. Now, the lowest risk for uh, four to eight inches of snow. That's what you're looking at it's in the dark blue here. So north of Highway 200. Once again, that seems to be the demarcation line. Highway 200 and points south, the risk for four to eight inches of snow increases. Heavier bands and a prolonged storm system with slow motion means that we could have some enhanced snow totals. Traveling south, traveling southeast, traveling west, all impacted. Things get a little better as we go to the north. Here's the latest on that track and timing. Snow begins in our southern and western counties down here by Ellendale, Oaks and Lamore. As we go into Sunday morning, it will have already been snowing since Saturday night in the western Dakotas where the snow has been very frequent this season. All right, as we head into the midday hour, you're going to want to be where you're going to be in the Southern Valley because the snow will really spread and look at the wind. The yellow arrows gusts over 30, maybe even over 40 miles per hour where you see the dark blues and the purples. Those are heavier, more intense bands of snow where they set up is too early to tell, but where they set up, we're going to have those enhanced snowfall totals working the way through. Notice it sets up along Highway 200 Sunday evening. Look at the heavier bands of snow that swirl through not once, but again, all the way into Monday. Look at this heading into the Twin Cities even. So travel region wide impacted lower impacts north, greater impacts south. That's the story. Now let's talk about this. We have much better weather to enjoy until then. While it's stormy in the Great Lakes, severe weather there for us, it's quiet and quite mild. And in fact, we're melting with temperatures in many areas above freezing still. By 10 o'clock tonight, we'll be dipping down into the 20s, and that's where we stay overnight. The good news is the wind settles down overnight. Not too bad, but in the morning hours, as we take you into the morning, there'll be a chance for some flakes drifting along the South Dakota border. And by daybreak, I think from the valley and points east, we could see a few flakes. This will not be too heavy at all, maybe laying a layer of greasy on area roads. Your temperatures in most locations in the teens to near 20. And that's how we kick off your weekend clouds and a few flakes. After that, it gets really nice. Not quite as warm as today, but we'll see some sun spreading in from the west. We're also going to see quiet winds, which makes the day very pleasant. Temperatures near 30 or near the melting point. So we'll have a chance with the sunshine on roads to continue to take care of some of that fresh fallen snow. And we'll be closer to 35 to 40 in central Minnesota. Thanks to the pine tree effect mid teens to start your day in Fargo. A uh, mix of sun and clouds early becomes more sunshine late. Wind, not too much of a problem at all. Enjoy your Saturday. Be where you want to be by Sunday midday in the Southern Valley. And in the afternoon, we could have travel impacts all the way through your Monday. First alert weather days both days. So, um, it looks like we get cold again on Tuesday. Three below zero twenties for highs. That's way below average for this time of the year. Spring, spring, will you ever get here? Well, we might see some more 30s as we head into the upcoming weekend, Ooh. but at least the next seven days look fairly quiet. Let's just cancel Monday right now and call it a three-day weekend. Can we do that? Yeah. I'll check with I think command. We have the authority. <laughs> Who do we need? We need to call like the schools and jobs. Somehow I feel and, that isn't going to work yeah. out well for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, work on it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Coming up, how you can act now to lower your risk of colon cancer. Be like a holiday.